SpringCAD allows you to install sloping pipe in your projects. Sloping pipe is defined by pipe elevation tags and slope marks. Here's a simple 50-foot pipe run with caps at each end. One end is tagged at 20 feet elevation, the other at 10 feet. Start the Define Sloping Pipes command and pick the pipe. Right click and the direction arrow will appear. Move the mouse so that the arrow is pointing down the slope and left pick. The slope mark will appear on the pipe. The 3D block shows that the pipe is sloped. In real projects, sloping pipe is best defined relative to the angles of the building roof. In SpringCAD, the building roof elevation is specified through top of steel markers and ridge lines. Here a 100 foot by 25 foot building is constructed with ridge lines. You can draw these ridge lines on top of existing architectural drawing elements for your projects. A ridge line in the middle represents the peak. Top of steel markers are placed at the outside corners at an elevation of 12 feet. The center ridge has an elevation of 17 feet. The combination of ridge lines and top of steel markers can be observed through the quick elevate command. Enter QE at the command line. With the command running, the rubber bands will snap to the nearest top of steel markers. The most crosshairs will indicate the current elevation, and an arrow will appear pointing down the slope. This is a good tool to use when troubleshooting your project to ensure that SpringCAD has interpreted your ridge lines and elevations correctly. Press Escape to exit the command. Here's a row of sprinklers. The best way to slope the pipe parallel with the roof is through star elevations. Start the Single Pipe Elevations command. Enter star 10 as the elevation. This will set the pipe 10 inches below the top of steel elevation. Press OK and place a marker at each end of the pipe. A feed main is inserted at a fixed elevation of 9 feet. The pipe must be broken at the peak. For this example, use the coupling at break command. All pitch pipe must have slope markers applied. Start the define sloping pipes command and select the pipes to the right of the ridge. Right click and the arrow will appear. 
Move the mouse so that the arrow points to the right or down and pick. Slope marks are inserted. Do the same for the pipes to the left of the ridge. The 3D block clearly shows the pipe elevations and should be used periodically to check your work. Here the pipes have been sized. The branches are scheduled 10. When you enter SpringCAD design and perform a stock list calculation, the program will add couplings on the drawing at stock links. This will create new pieces of pipe and you have to make sure that slope marks exist on all of these. For example, if you remove a slope mark and create a 3D block, the pipe pitch appears incorrectly. You can copy an existing slope mark if desired. Now the line in the 3D block appears correctly. You can also use star elevations for sprigs and drop pendants. Here the heads are changed to drop pendants. Start the multi-head elevation command. Enter an elevation of star 3 feet. Select all the heads with a window and right click. The 3D block now shows the drop pendants. Here's a layout where the branch lines slope upward and the mains are level. Set the main elevations to 10 feet. Set the branch line elevations to star 9. Insert the slope marks. The pipes appear correctly in the 3D block. In some cases, you may want to have the mains sloped and the branch lines level. In this example, the mains and branches are 21 inches below the top of the steel. Star elevations are used. The slope marks point down from the peak. Note the joint at the peak. The short horizontal piece at the top has no slope marks and will be parallel with the peak. A 90 elbow at each end will be turned down the pipe. The branches do not require slope marks since they are level. The 3D block shows the slope main and level branches.
The branches can be elevated through riser nipples and elevation tags. Insert riser pipes at the main intersections. Add star 9 elevations to the branch lines. The 3D block now shows the branches on riser nipples. The heads can easily be changed from uprights to sprigs. Use the Replace Heads command to change the heads to the sprig type. Then use multi-head elevations to set the height. Star elevations can be used again. The 3D block shows the result. If you have a sudden drop in building elevation, you have to use two ridge lines. For example, the peak here drops 2 feet to 15 feet on the left. Draw a ridge line close to the existing ridge line. Place a 15-foot elevation tag on each end of the line. Place star 21 elevations on each pipe end close to the ridge lines. Insert a drop pipe where the pipe drops down to the left side. The drop pipe is clearly evident in the 3D block.